Hey everyone, two years ago I bought one of those refinishing kits so that I could repaint the tub in the kids bathroom. Now if you saw that video you know it didn't go that well and it's been two years so let's take a look at it now. Before we get into it I need to address a few points. That video has been my most viewed video on the channel which is a bit weird as I don't think it's truly representative of my channel given that I mostly show woodworking. It's also been a bit of a controversial video. Two years later I'm still getting comments popping up every single week and let's just say they're not always that polite. So I need to clear up a few things right away. First of all, I'm located in Canada. So far 80% of the views on that video are from the USA versus just 6% from up here in Canada. And while Canada and the US have a lot of things in common, there's still plenty of differences and in particular our regulations on things like solvents and VOCs are much more stringent than they are in the US. That's what I'm given to understand and I'm not a legal environmental expert so let's just keep this at a high level. But anyways, oil-based finishes for example are pretty much gone the way of the dinosaur up here. It's all latex and water-based, everything. And so I've heard from many people that the formulation of the tub refinishing kit that I bought is considerably different than the one that's sold in the United States. And I didn't know that when I first shot the video. Uh, but you know, so for all these people who say, but it worked for me, it's like, let's make sure you're actually talking about the same product. The other all too frequent comment that I'm getting thoroughly sick of is all the people saying I didn't follow the directions correctly, or I didn't prep the surface efficiently, or I didn't sand enough. There's not much I can say to that. I mean, my recollection is that I read the instructions thoroughly and I followed them carefully. Here's one section of the tile wall. Now here, the paint is not cracked or peeling or anything like that. So hopefully those folks will accept that at least here I prepped and applied it correctly. But look how yellow it is. I mean, this is white, this is white, this is white, this is yellow. It's yellow, it's yellow, it's yellow. I mean, that's just no good. Here's one close up of the side wall. It's going yellow here, here it's white, here it's flaking right through. I just, I, I can just scrape it right off with my fingernail right there. There it goes. Here at the shower head end, this is all going yellow and yellow. Up here by the shower head, it is yellow. We pan down to where the valve is. This is all going yellow. Here, here, still white, just so you can see the comparison. Here is white. Here along the lip of the tub, it is just flaking. I can just flake it off with my fingernail. That's coming across. More over here, same idea. Here we're looking straight into the tub. That is the original one from two years ago, but then here it's flaking, and there it's flaking, and there it's flaking. Here, here, here. Here in the middle, it's uh, starting to go through. If we turn and look at the other end, oops. yeah, there's the drain. It is just completely flaking around there. You can just pick at it with your fingernails. Underneath the overflow, same idea. I'm trying to do a close-up focus on one of the tiles here. I hope I can get the lighting correct. You can just see all the striations, all the cracks in the finish. It is like this over probably 30% of the wall. Let me just close by showing some still photos of what I've been talking about. So what now? So in preparation for this video, I reviewed the first two videos and I see that I commented there that I would have been happy if we had, you know, three to five years out of this kit. And, you know, we didn't even get two months. And, you know, this is two years later now and it looks horrible. And we really should have done something before now. It's just, we just haven't had the energy to deal with it. And, you know, it's the kids' bathroom, so it's really easy to just close the door and forget about it. But I mean, I'm certainly not buying another refinishing kit. Really, uh, we're gonna do this summer what we should have done in the first place and we're gonna bite the bullet and we're gonna gut this end of the bathroom. 